Hey, welcome to this Penguin Tutor video on 3D printing from Blender. So Blender is a 3D package that allows you to create 3D objects and I've already created the object, or my son has, this is a 3D rocket created using the Raspberry Pi guides to Blender and as you can see it's a 3D um, model of a, a rocket. You can look at how it's going to render using the F12 button. Uh, the first step now is to take this and create an STL file which is the format we need to use to convert it to a 3D print file. So use the export option and use STL. Um, we'll give it a name, rocket.stl is fine. So we'll just export that. And that's the bit done in Blender. So we now need to open it into a slicer application. In this case, I'm going to use Cura, which is one of the more popular ones. And we can open this, and it's called rocket.stl, as we've saved earlier and as you can see it has loaded but it is really really small here is our rocket it's Cura uses the same sort of uh, controls that Blender does so we can use these if we've got uniform scaling on then it's going to keep the scale so we can create it till it's the right sort of size. As you can see it keeps the base on the bottom so you won't be losing any bits even if you uh, scale it using different things. So There we go, so that's our rocket, approximate size we want to do. A uh, few options we need to look at. First, hopefully you've set up already your printer. I'm using the, the Prusa i3 uh, which is uh, the Maya 3D printer is actually a Wanaho printer, but it is based on the on the Prusa i3, as many other 3D printers are. Uh, choose an appropriate material. I've created a custom one here called PLA 175, 1.75 millimeter PLA. Uh, choose an appropriate one. Then uh, a couple of options here. So the the an important option is the infill. When you're creating objects in Blender, they're typically going to be solid objects. If you set the fill infill to be 100%, then that will be solid PLA, which will take up quite a lot of your PLA, but just as importantly, it will take an awful long time to print. So here, if I fully print this with a full infill, it'll take about 14 hours and 20 minutes. Um, makes a very good paperweight because it'll be quite nice and heavy but in reality um, a value of around 20 to 30 percent gives you a fairly rigid shape which is useful for most purposes and there's a couple of options here um, generate support this is required if you have any overhanging, overhanging objects um, because the 3D printer prints up a layer at a time. If you have something that's overhanging there will be nothing for it to, to hold on to. Generate support will build scaffolding around it which needs to be removed afterwards but is, is fairly easy to remove. On this particular object we don't need to use that um, so I can turn that off. Although generally you um, for other objects you might need that one. Build plate adhesion just um, prints around the outside before it prints um, to help it stick to the build plate and I find that's um, quite an important feature for my particular 3D printer. And then once it's once you've happy with all the settings, save to file. I just call mine rocket. <laughs> 
.gcode. So this saves it as a G-code file, which is a, a slice file which sends the information to the printer each layer at a time for it to build up the model. My 3D printer is connected to a Raspberry Pi running Octoprint, so I can print mine directly from inside a web browser. If you don't have that, then you can copy it to a SD card manually, put that in your 3D printer. But I find this quite a useful tool. So upload um, is the option. There is upload to SD. Um, I, I tend not to use that because that will take an awful long time to transfer the file to the SD card because mine's connected to a, a Raspberry Pi that's, that's constantly running, then just the upload is fine. Find the file I created earlier, rocket.gcode, and it uploads it quite quickly to the um, Raspberry Pi that's connected to my 3D printer. You can then click on the load and print option, which will then start to send it to the printer. As you can see, I've got um, a camera on my Raspberry Pi that is watching the 3D printer, so we'll be able to see that. Just have a look. Um, right, so we um, a few different things we can do here. It's one's to, to watch the temperature to see, and you can see that it's it's showing the actual temperature of the printer. If we click print, this should start to increase. I see that actually that it's it's just raising the the bed temperature before it'll raise the the tool printer. Um, it's going to just take a, a short while. So this is the view from 3D printer, ready for when it starts printing. So as you can now see, the 3D printer has started printing it. And here's the finished 3D printed rocket. I hope you found that useful. If so, please like and share this video. You can also leave a comment below. And if you'd like to see more of my future videos, please follow my channel, Penguin Tutor, on YouTube.